it is phase 3 configuration of dynamic multi point vpn phase 2 in phase 3 both they achieve same task which is allow direct communication from one spokes to another spokes rather than sending data to the hub so the difference between phase 2 and phase 3 is in phase 2 summarization and default route not allowed from the hub in phase 3 it is allowed this is why this is the most uh, preferred phase in dynamic multi point vpn in order to make your network highly scalable so the things which going to change from spokes 2 to sorry phase 2 to phase 3 is only two command on your hub which is ip nhrp shortcut and ip nhrp redirect in one command to your spokes ip nhrp shortcut so spokes ip nhrp shortcut ip nhrp shortcut and also notice that again we going to run a uh, multi point gre tunnel on spokes as well so this is the one command one unique command going to execute on hub ip nhrp redirect and ip nhrp shortcut going to be execute on all router hub as well as spoke so this is the topology where we have discuss here we discussing from last three video so currently it is working as uh, let me check it out do so run interface tunnel zero as a phase two so tunnel mode gre multi point tunnel mode gre multi point uh, likewise on this router do so interface tunnel do so run excuse me do so run tunnel interface zero uh, tunnel mode gre multi point so currently the configuration is uh, phase two so the command which we need to change on all router that is interface tunnel zero IP NHRP shortcut out all router one specific command on your hub IP NHRP uh, redirect so now we have successfully configured phase 3 dynamic multi point VPN or DM VPN the next thing which I am going to do I am planning to implement BGP as a routing protocol on top of this network or top of this topology so i would like to make this a single autonomous system because if you have a multiple autonomous system in your network they going they every time going to change the next hop address so if uh, if i am going to inform anything to the hub hub going to uh, hub going to inform back to the spoke now the next hop is hub so i would like to make this simple i'm going to configure on same autonomous system so if we going to form ibgp neighbor adjacency i know the rule of igp uh, ibgp neighbor adjacency they are not going to advertise any network to the ibgp peer until they work as a root reflector so two things which we need to implement on BGP this router should be work as a root reflector for these two router and uh, would like to clear off all the routing no router OSPF1 from all no router in hence IGRP make sure no routing protocol is running now router BGP autonomous system one out all router and let's form neighbor adjacency neighbor 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 10 remote autonomous system is one neighbor 10 dot 10 dot 10 dot 20 remote autonomous system one 
likewise neighbor 10.10.10.1 remote autonomous system 1 like neighbor 10.10.10. excuse me remote autonomous system 1 so we supposed to have neighbor adjacency as we can we do have and I, I also would like to add our loopback interface or uh, going to add LAN. So network, excuse me, network 192.168.x.0 and then mask is 255.255.255.0 out all router on hub this is network 0 spoke this is network 1 this is network 2 so that is good so hopefully we have do so ip bgp some sorts of uh, routes so as we can see spokes they are not aware about any network to uh, uh, which is connected to another spokes because this router must be work as a or hub must be work as a root reflector for rest of spokes so i should also make changes neighbor 10.10.10.10 i am the root reflector for 10.10.10 .10 as well as for 10.10.10 20. So once we made these changes, now we can say uh, we can see we supposed to have do so do so IP BGP out all router. I know how to get network 0 and 2. So it is under convergence. Hopefully it's going to converge very soon. Excuse me, let me check whether we have tunnel interface is up yes we do have obviously and uh, do so dmvpn i have a two one one that is good do so ip bgp it may take a little bit time as we know the bgp convergence is slowest so once conversation uh, completed, we can send data from hub to spoke, sorry, one spokes to another spokes. So now it's supposed to be converged if everything is configured correctly. Do so IP BGP. Uh, it is not converged yet. I think I, oh, let me check do so run section bgp oh i forget to mention neighbor adjacency okay so neighbor 10.10.10.1 remote autonomous system is one and i do have a correct information likewise both so now it's supposed to be do so ip bgp supposed to be converged yes exactly as we can see now we can send directly data from one spokes to another spokes before going to verify i would like to show one more thing do so dmvpn out all router so currently as we can see hub has two tunnel facing to the spokes and spokes have single tunnel facing to the hub only. So once they're going to send a traffic, any traffic, they're dynamically going to create a tunnel. So let me show you. Currently, we have single tunnel. What happen if spoke 1 want to send data to spoke 2, which has IP address 2.1 and my source address going to be loopback 0. So this is the first packet, that's why it going through the hub and then after we sending it directly. Same thing we can see on spoke 2, I would like to trace route from 
the destination address is 192.168.1.1 sorry we can see we have direct a direct communication from one spokes to another spokes similarly let me show you dynamic uh, multi point vpn now this is the dynamic tunnel which is created when we sending data across one spokes to another spoke so there we go this is all about which i want to discuss in this video let me uh, uh, let me recall in brief so the things is in phase 3 summarization and default route are allowed from the hub that's why it is highly preferred sorry it is mostly preferred phase it is mostly preferred phase which is phase 3 and if we using bgp on top of the network makes your your next hop not going to be changed so this is all about in this video in upcoming video we going to discuss something else